Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. We're still at Gradobor, which we just freed from the Nilfgaardian oppression. And uh, now we're gonna head further along the countryside of Rivia. And we're heading towards our next simple battle. And I feel like this is probably the final chapter of the game. So I'm starting to lament a bit that this uh, is going to end rather soon. Probably uh, a few weeks from now. So, your grace, these hovels are inhabited by elves. They're starving for none in Gradaboy are willing to trade with them. They've offered to sell what little they have for next to nothing, mere scraps and modest coin. Such a favorable offer I cannot deny. I shall not prey on their misfortunes. Of course I won't. There we go. We're back in our land, so we need to be friendly to anybody who lives here. And uh, we'll not use that shrine just yet. And I still love the music in this chapter. I'm going to probably say that in every episode that we spend in uh, Rivia, but this music is amazing. Hey, Nilf Guardians! A new oiler, the vast majority of Rivians greeted the return of their king with joy and relief, but not all. Some quickly adapted to the new oiler. They stood ready to defend it, fighting side by side with the invaders, prepared to kill their fellow countrymen. So sadly we do have some Rivians that don't like us being here again, but uh, yeah, we're gonna deal with those the way we like to deal with those. 101, 102, Promising recruit. After two allies appear on the battlefield, boost self by eight. We know that and strengthen all allies by one on Euler. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the Arthusa adapt, doubling up all wish, the Scaliger units like that, and and the turn I can target the Arthusa adapt. Just 152, yet. 154. Then what we shall do is put a disgraced warrior on the field. Is today the day? Pull it back with uh, Meeves and Granny Blade ability. So like that. Then put it back on the field. Maybe one of the other ones like this. And then use the other Aratusa Adept. Because I have three right now, right? Yeah, to uh, double up on them again <laughs> within the deck. There we go. And boost them all by two as well. Oh. Oh. Mirian Lumix is Ooh. It's a bunch of Rivian pikemen. And that causes the promising recruits to gain resilience and boost themselves by eight. Nothing we can do about that just yet. But uh, let's spawn three units or do we... I'm going to use blood first. So we get two war wagons, which is fine by me. Like that. Put those war wagons on the field. And then like the third. And he passed. Fair enough, I can take him out rather quickly with the Rivian Sapper right now. So let's just do this. Don't you worry yourself. Kill off all the light infantry units. And take the armor of one of the recruits. There we go, and we're on top of them already. I do want to take out those resilience units, but I'm not going to be able to... Yeah, just... Let's just pass. Ah, we won our first round. Which means that those two promising recruits are going to stay on the field, but I still have plenty of cards where that came from. So let's just try this out a bit further. So first up, Disgraced Brawler. And we're gonna Scrubbing copy him in a second. Oh, God. But first, the slinger, we can use that immediately um, to do just that. We can use Meave and Granny Blade if we want to. Do I want to? Yeah, I do want to. So let's pull the slinger back. Play the Rivian Onager and. One of the Disgraced Warriors, maybe? Yeah, the Disgraced Warrior. So, Rivian Onager and Disgraced Warrior. Waiting for a personal invitation. Then we can damage those recruits. And just not kill that one recruit, but fair enough for now. Ha! You can 
try to win them all, but you won't. A war wagon, of course, because this is a Rivian, uh, Rivian settlement, so... Makes sense that there's stuff like that over there as well. I think Aratusa adapt first with more of those disgraced <sighs> warriors. It's gonna be nice. That is 12. So that's fine for now. Let's end the turn. Whenever an enemy appears on the ranged road, strengthen self by 3. And or boost all units in hand whenever one on the melee row appears. I'm gonna play into that a little bit. By doing this. Then we are at 18 with the Disgraced Warrior, which is fine for now, but we did get three charges on the Rivian Onager, which will go towards the promising recruits. You can also then use the Disgraced Warrior to kill that recruit off. There we go. Go on, Enkazel! Now, we could reduce marching orders already, but we're not going to do that just yet. So, I think we have plenty of Skellige units in the graveyard for now. So, let's use Dogger 2 Blades and play all of those. One. Oh, that's probably an issue. Come on, kill me! Just gonna let him boost the units in his hand then. There we go, and... Army's a waste of time for one like me. Play the top unit from your deck if there was a Blitz unit. Yeah, so we know that. Then we can use the Forager over well, here. But use the Disgraced Brawlers first to damage a few guys over here. So tell every time the Drummer and the Impera Brigade. Drummer and Impera Brigade. And Drummer and Impera Brigade. And then we can use the Forager to get those two. Which boosts our other Skellige units by two, uh, well, four. Then six damage on the Imperial Brigade. Want to kill that one first and use one of the warriors to kill it all. So that reduces that amount of damage that can come out of that. Then we get an Assassin. Every Left, turn on turn right, start, damage left, the highest power unit right. by five if it is an even number. Don't really care much about that and the Forager is going to fix that anyway, so... Over here, use the Forager, boosting all my Skellige units further, then, um, I think that we're going to use Meave first, so like this, we can pull one unit back, which I think should be one of the Foragers, because they're lower, so let's get one of the Foragers out. Then we can use marching orders to get the bigger ones out and Arniolf. Arniolf and the reinforcements. There we go. So Arniolf. Wanna know why I got my son? And then reinforcements on the disgraced warriors. Of which we have a lot now. And they all are very high. Because of the amount of Skalgeons we've killed so far. Then the Rivian Onager twice on the Imperial Brigade. And we'll see about the rest later. Oh. Now then, what else is gonna do? He has two cards more than I have. Again, again, but my deck is a lot again. better at the moment. Hurak. And the highest ally power is old. Damage him like that, which is fine, because I think I can even kill him with one of my disgraced warriors. So let's do this. And let's do uh, this. Which is just enough to kill those two. Now, the rest I'm not going to be able to do much against. Um, we can do that on the drummer. But for now, the rest is bigger. So, first off, marching orders. And use Meave to pull back this Disgraced Warrior. Then we're gonna use... Uh, what else do we have? Another Forager. And Reynard. So give a charge to units with the Plead Order. Which should be fine, yeah. There we go. Let's put this one over here. If the ring won't come off, and Reynard over finger. here. Company! Forward march! That recharges Arniel's ability as well. So let's use Arniel's ability to 
get that drummer down. Then we can damage the drummer again. And 13 damage is enough to have the double with this disgraced warrior. There we go. Then what else can we kill? We can kill those older promising recruits. Like this. Then damage up those guys. Getting rid of a bit of the armor. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? We can kill... Or start damaging at least these, the Impera Brigade. So that's 7 damage. We can use the Forager to get 2 more down. And then the Rivian Onager gets... 1 is enough. Um, 28 on the 14 guy. And 30 on the other Impera Brigade. And then we could technically also get rid of the promising recruits and most of the war wagon. Not entirely, but most of it. There we go. And end the turn. Can't take it anymore. One more ability available to me, which is egg on the field. God bless it. Then damage it. the war wagon. Use the forager to get Dagur and Ek uh, off the field. And get two more charges on the Rivian Onager, which we can use on the War Wagon. There we go. Should be fine. With two cards left, I don't see him doing that. God, he better. Hungry like a wolf, I am. More light infantry units, but. You can try to win them all, yeah. but you won't. He doesn't do anything with them, so there we go. So, gather up what we can get from these uh, traitors. These, uh, yeah, these Rivians that were all too happy to join the Nilf Guardians, apparently. Attention, elves, dwarves, halflings, and other vile non-humans. I, Queen Meave, hereby proclaim that upon regaining my throne, you shall be punished for aiding the enemy in wartime. Your affiliation or lack thereof with the so-called squirrels is unimportant, for treacherous blood nevertheless flows through your veins, and it must be spilled. Her Majesty by right divine, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. So again... Very, very ugly propaganda from the Nilf Guardians. Just uh, writing us off as a monster, kind of. But, moving on. And we're going towards the south, because there seems to be more over here. The game is saving as well, which I know it does occasionally, but... For some reason I felt like it might have been... Uh, suspicious there. Okay, so we're heading towards a rather large settlement here. Am I coming close to the next bit? Maybe? No. This is literally off the map, behind these wolves, rats, I know what those are supposed to be. Let's check that out. Where are we? Oh, through the fourth wall. Okay, is this an easter egg? What the hell is... Oh, there's another another uh, CD Projekt Red, rather vein over here, right next to where I am now. So, what is this? There's a guy standing in a circle. And nothing else. It's a puzzle battle. Let's have a little chat. Probably something uh, like the one they did with Hearthstone. The cost of ambition. Some people do whatever necessary to re realize their ambitions. Cut any deal, pay any price. For example, there was once a young Rivian man who sold his soul to master the arcane magical arts. To whom did he sell it, you might ask? Well, it's safer not to utter his name. Banish all enemy cards before yours are banished. Hmm. Doesn't immediately ring a bell. But maybe the cards will tell us. So there's a wraith over here. Every turn on turn start banish two random enemy cards. And then we have a lot of, you know, turned over cards. Reveal two cards if they were identical, repeat this ability. And the objective is banish all enemy cards before yours are banished. Okay. So this is memory, basically. Ispal and Arnjolf. Okay. And we lose two cards. I can't do that on my side, sadly. Gabor and Gabor, okay. So, Isbella is over here, and Arnjolf is over here, I think. Nickers and Rayla. Okay, let's end the turn. 
So they are moving up, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so that's Rayla twice. That's an easy one. Then Caldwell and Reynard. Send a turn. Um, Egg, God damn it. And that's Gascon. Okay, so we basically know where most of the cards are now, aside from the fact that I have no idea what else is there. Arnulf, that was here or here, because we moved up. I think it's this one. Yeah, okay. There we go. Then... Oh, I did that already. Crap. That's Gascon. Okay, Gascon and Reynard are up there. Then, I think in the middle here we haven't really seen yet, so... Gascon and Gascon. Okay. Then this one is Reynard and that is also Reynard. Okay. Then... Caldwell, we knew that. And then I think... Yeah, okay. And then Nickers and... Was Nickers the left one or this one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Uh, I think Isbel was on top. Ooh, this one then? Yeah, there we go. And two eggs to finish it off. There we go. Bit of a memory game. Interesting. I don't know what they were referencing there. Black blood. Let's claim that. Check out what's in the chest. Xavier Lemons. I, Amadeus Ritterhof, in exchange for thorough knowledge of the arcane magical arts, hereby pledge my soul. I shall repay my debt only at such a time when the sun rises over Rivia in the dark of night. I sign this contract with my blood in full understanding that it cannot, under any circumstance, be breached. Um... This easter egg is flying right over my head. So I'm gonna have to look that up. Give me a second. So, I've googled a bit and I haven't found anything, <laughs> which is weird. Um, so either I didn't get the reference why this is a fourth... Well, it's breaking the fourth wall kind of literally, because it's not on the map. So you're kind of going outside of the map into this rat's or wolf's mouth. But whether that was intentional or not... I feel like there's more to that story, so if anybody knows what that is really about, please let me know. I'm happy for the for the trophy, of course. I'm called trophy. I call myself trophy nut, so of course I'm happy with the, the trophy. But uh, yeah, a bit weird that I don't know what that is As all about. So please let me know in the comment section. Marching along its ivy-covered wall, they heard mourners wailing pitifully to a priestess's moving song. The soldiers dutifully lowered their heads. Their minds sought out fallen comrades and kin, and they wondered whom else the war would yet claim. Uh, listen, said Gascon, stirring me from her own meditation. I think I'll veer off for a bit. What for? To offer your condolences? In a manner of speaking. But just go on. I'll rejoin you soon. Okay. Um... Follow Gascon, of course. I want to know what this is about. Meave nodded in agreement, then made as if to ride on. Yet Gascon had hardly entered the cemetery when the Queen turned and followed. Gascon quickly realized he was not alone. Ah, oh, Meave. Had I been plotting to do you no good, I'd not have announced I was sneaking off to do it. What do you mean? Come now, Meave. Don't play the fool. You don't trust me, so you followed. Probably thought I'd commune with Epdahi in some crypt. Nay, better, the Conclave of Mages. Well, rest assured then. For if I truly had something I wanted to conceal, I dare say you'd not have noticed me slip off. Um... I was... Followed you out of concern. Yeah, because you're on a graveyard, buddy. If I truly suspected something nefarious, I'd have dispatched my scouts, not followed you alone. Which begs the question, why'd you follow? Why are you here? Why have you come? Because you've not been yourself. You've been acting strangely. And that gives you the right to spy on me? Gascon, I've grown used to you bending the rules of decorum, but now you overstep, sir. You overstep. Oh, will you have me flogged? Hold your tongue, sir, or I shall indeed. Splendid. Now tell me why you've come here. <sighs> if you absolutely must know. 
Then follow me. Gascon led Meave through the ruins of a mausoleum, past its decapitated statues, past ancient gravestones effaced, past sarcophagi smashed to pieces. Whose is it? Could it be? Yes, Meave. My family's vault. The Brossards. The Brossards? Wait. The Brossards? The very same. Traitors who in 1258 revolted against King Reginald, your late husband. The earth lie lightly upon him. An error, most certainly. We paid dearly for it. Reginald had no mercy, decimated the family. As you can see, didn't even spare the dead. I was outside, away from the house. It is the only reason I survived. I was eight at the time. Stripped of title and home. Well, I'm sure you can guess the rest. Wow. That's what they call a backstory. And to think that you could actually miss this completely. Frankly, do my damnedest not to think on it. But the wall, the cemetery, seeing them awoke all the old demons. Your crest, I seem to recall a pointer. Ah, <sighs> the Duke of Dogs. Now I understand. The Brossard's trial I remember well. Reginald was angry. He prodded and pushed. Too far, the sentence was cruel, spiteful. I felt it all, but said nothing. I'm so very, very sorry, Gascon. Ah, water under the bridge. And the past's a thing none of us can change. Wow, that was realistic of him we can rebuild the tomb the past no but the present i could rebuild your family's tomb all deserve to rest in peace Maeve, the war nears its end days now and you'll have more urgent expenses so i shall pay for this now i'm grateful gascon and indebted vastly let me do this let me pay my debt in part at least I thank you. Gascon remained silent the rest of the day. When the force halted for the night, he sat secluded in his tent. But by the morn, he was his witty, mirthful self again. His family's final resting place would be returned to its former glory. This he knew, and it seemed to lift a weight from his mind. He could now reconcile with his family's tragic past. There we go, Gascon Plus. That was, wow, kind of got me tearing up there a bit. Didn't think that Gascon would have uh, that surprise left in him. Reginald the Courageous to Father Danilo, caretaker of Kiderwood Cemetery. Pardon my gnomish, but I don't give a flying rat's ass about peace for the dead. You'll do as you've been told. Dig up the brossards, chop them up to bits and burn them to ash. Be sure to turn them statues and greystones to rubble. If you ever confuse me again, I'll make sure you share the same fate as those traitors. Reginald was a dick. Jesus Christ, What? what's the point in digging up corpses and chopping them up to pits just to spite somebody? Well, nobody, because in his mind, nobody was left. That is weird. Good mother, grant him eternal peace. Oh, and look here. On the ground, there's the Duke of Dogs symbol. I kind of totally missed that in the first few minutes, but there it is. The Duke of Dogs sig sig symbol. And I can't talk anymore. Got a bit of a, a lump in my throat. But uh, moving on. But before we move on, I'm going to have to take a look at the new Gascon card. So what does he do now? If in hand attack or on the battlefield, strike himself by two whenever an enemy or allied card is moved. So uh, definitely, so that's going to make him a lot more powerful than he was before. So two boost instead of one boost. And then we have another little fort we're going to just uh, clear out rather quickly. I just want to take that out. Uh, I'm probably going to skip through most of the battle. But Nilfgaardian outpost upon noticing Meave's approach, a Nilfgaardian sentry sounded his horn. Before his tune was finished, however, he was silenced by a Lyrian arrow. The guard, covered in blood, slumped to the ground lifeless. The battle's first victim has been claimed. 
Here we go. Okay, and that first guard actually does get damaged at the start. Wounded Daytwin Arbalest, which is nice. And, uh, well, you know what? I'm going to start with War Wagon. But I'll see you guys in a second at the end of this first round. So I'm ahead for quite a bit. So I think I'm just going to let this play out a bit. There we go. We won the round. Don't know why he played another card. Probably put himself at seven cards and not uh, eight. Which is fine by me. So let's just first play the Grey Rider. I live to serve you. And then the turn. So I'm just going to play out this second yeah. round a bit. Because I feel like I can just overpower him. With what we have. There we go. Arnulf first. Then and the turn. Then we can create a trinket with Barnabas, which will allow us to draw two units and set their power to one. There we go. An Onager and a Slinger. And then we can use Meave to pull Barnabas back again. An Onager and Gascoin. So Onager over here, which gets boosted by the Grey Rider, were about to get and like this. Then we can damage the Black Infantry Arbalest, which is the most dangerous one for now, I think. And deal more damage to it. There we go. And the turn. Patricide, Arnulf, is going to kill off that Arbalest. And then the Regiment Drummer gets us a you War Wagon. Win them all, and I'm won't. fucked. Okay. No biggie for now. No biggie for now. So let's end the turn. Because I don't have space anymore, kind of misread that. And he hasn't really killed anything just yet. Um, damage an enemy by the total number of enemies, which should of course be the... That is nine at the moment, so might as well kill one of those Magna Division veterans. Then I sadly cannot use the Brawlers on our units. So Arbalest and those guys, Arbalest and those guys, and Arbalest and those guys. Now, what else do I have? I think I'm going to have to use a Forager uh, in the next turn and throw away that useless Rivian Onager in my hand. And yeah, yes, and the turn. So I think if I'm not mistaken, he should be killing the... or not. He's not killing my units. Crap. Okay. Uh, so let's pull back that Rivian Onager. Gonna have to be careful here. If I pull back the Onager. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. I know what I can, I can do. I pull back the... It's not the Stray Slinger. Hmm. One of those disgraced brawlers. Fair enough. And then we play the... Oh, we don't have a sapper anymore. Okay. Okay, no biggie. We do have a forager. So forager and the pitfall trap. So forager should probably go over here. Oh, ashamed. And then the pitfall trap first. over here. Arnulf can kill off the Black Infantry Arbalest. Uh, we can use the Forager to kill off these two guys, making a bit more space. Now, with Raynard, we can do that again. Her Majesty is exceptional. So, re-enabling all the charges, we can use the Forager again to get those two blacksmiths, making even more space. Then, the Stray Slinger is going to move these two over, so they get damaged by the Pitfall Trap. There we go. Then we kill off as much as we can. I think just this guy might be fine. Yeah, four, four times. There we go. Then Arnulf should have done that first, but never mind. There we go. The drummer, we can use that again. Not going to do that just yet. Just damage those two guys. And end the turn. So still pretty involved match, but uh, nice choice. 
I think we might be able to finish this off. So use the Divana Runestone on the Disgraced Brawler. That was only one, sadly. Bit of my mistake, of course. Uh, then Arnie of the Patricide on the Black Infantry Arbalest, which is still the most dangerous one. Then use the Regiment Drummer to put Egg on the field. Prepare to fight if you've any honor. And then the turn. Then we're gonna end with Isbel. Because the Arbalest is gonna kill the Olinger, I think. Which is fine, I need a bit more space. My prescription. A bit of bloodletting. Oh no, they're going for Egg now. That is peculiar. So when Isbel. Ever learn? And damage the... Wait, we're at seven now, right? So might as well kill one of those seven dudes. And then the turn. And they pull another card, which is... Ah, that is annoying. Why did they pull another card? Yeah, okay, the scout does that. Never mind. Order! Taking that back. And we get more damage. And then we get the cooldown reduced. Um, Arnulf on the Arbalests. Isbel goes to 43, but... You can use me and Granny Blade to pull back the Stray Slinger. What else do we have in our deck? Another Stray Slinger. And one of the Warriors doesn't really matter. There we go. So Stray Slinger... Bigger they are, easier they are to and the warrior. For a personal invitation. Then the stray slinger can kill off this black infantry arbalest and our two light infantry units. There we go. And kill all that. Then we get our forger has been recharged, but of course, let's first do Isbel, which kills everything, aside from that one arbalest. Um Black Infantry Arbalest down. Get rid of my two units over here. Making a bit more space. And then the Regiment Drummer with another yeah! Warrior, which get boosted as well. Pass. Pretty nice. 332 with an empty field on the other side. 154. Eat it, buddy. I also almost depleted my deck. I have four cards left, which is awesome. And that's that, another camp cleared out. I'm um, assuming we're gonna find another letter here, because usually these camps contain letters, like this one. To your most honorable, honorful, oh, cartographer. Honorful Nilfgaardian sirs, I here do inform you that my neighbor Roslav, a cheat and a liar, has hid many riches from your most grand collectors. Here be a map for you highly esteemed, esteemed sirs, drawn by myself, of course, which shows where he stashed his goods. I think it's a bit of a, a dullard who wrote this letter. Don't spare Razlov a single lash, he deserves the harshest punishment. Goes without saying, I'm writing this denunciation for the noblest of reasons. Still, I'd not refuse a reward for turning the bugger in. Midovac. So one of the Ligians that, the uh, Rivians that gave away their own friend. Or maybe neighbor they were having a spat with, but definitely their own countryman. And with that, with this new camp available to us as well, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And when we get back, we're going to, well, continue our uh, liberation of the Rivian countryside. Goodbye.